So what we've done is we basically we started weeding over a year ago because we were all teaching the same thing and we were kind of getting stuck. What are you doing? What am I doing? So we came together at lunch because that was the only time that we had accessible to all of us. And I want to note that even though what we're doing is on our own time, we have started getting really substantial district support for what we're doing, and we'll talk about that later. So we started meeting in our classrooms just to talk about what do we really want our students to learn. When they leave our class at the end of seventh grade, what key skills should they have, and how can we design instruction to make sure that they're practicing those skills routinely throughout the year. Together, we developed a unit template which addresses the key skills which we're hitting every single unit, and we are also creating essential standards that the students are learning. So instead of having the breadth of the whole seventh grade history social science standards, we're only focusing on the main standards that we have identified together as a group. Okay. So do you want to talk about structure where we met? Did you get the three and the yeah. key standards? Yeah, I got that. All right. So So how it started, Liberty mentioned, what we did was three of us interested in collaborating. We wanted to have more fun for ourselves and we wanted to have a richer program for our students. So we started meeting at lunch and over the course of last year we would just talk about what we were doing and co-plan sort of as we went. Then we met this summer and we spent a lot of time going through what are the essential standards. As was mentioned earlier, you have a bazillion standards. You can't, you can't if you can hit all of those, um, then you're really not necessarily doing anything in depth. So what we're doing is what are the really key ones in terms of standards, but also in terms of what are the other things that we wanted our students to learn. We wanted to be sure we heard about reading across the curriculum. That was important to us. We heard about writing across the curriculum. That was important to us. We put that in so we have a writing component regularly. We have the, the key points, the main points that we want to be sure that we hit. We're making sure we have an experiential component to everyone. So when we did Rome recently, we had in my class, we had a Roman feast, the kids had made bread, we would made cheese in the classroom, we ate grapes, we didn't get to have figs because they weren't ripe, but we had good olives, figs tomorrow. <laughs> we, will be, we had kids dressing in togas and using real, uh, real fibula from Rome, so this is the kind of thing we wanted in everyone's, we're, we're working on Islam right now, we're going to be making yogurt, and part of what the kids have to do is find out when you go to a Middle Eastern restaurant right now, there are certain foods that weren't there then. The tomatoes are in the cuisine. Didn't have tomatoes in the Middle Ages in the Arabian Peninsula. So we have to learn about the authentic foods. That came out of us meeting together. So we got our unit template, all the different things we wanted to have. We did it up who would do what between the three of us. And then we started meeting about that during the year. What's happened is that the special ed teachers are, uh, so all of the seventh grade teachers are now meeting. And the special ed teachers are now planning alongside with us what they do, how they modify in their classrooms, and then next year when we do this again, then now we'll have the piece, their modifications as we go. So it's going to make it much better for all of our students. And when we're talking about the RTI component, that's really essential because now we have differentiated, differentiated lessons that we can use in the classroom. So while my um, kids that have tested out of the particular unit can have some enrichment activities that are really really rich and focus on the cultural experiential exercises while my kids that are still haven't yet achieved those standards are able to get the modified instruction we already have that all planned out. So that's what happened at Lindero and then when we recently went to the district meeting in October we had the chance to meet by department. So first we met with the whole secondary but then we broke down and we were just in middle schools and when the middle other middle school teachers heard what we were doing they were really excited and they wanted to be a part of the collaboration. So really wonderfully, we got a day from the district and we met there and the first part of the day, we were at different places knowing how to use the technology. So they taught those of us who didn't know how to use wikis, how to use a wiki, and, they, and then those of us who did know how to do it, set up a wiki. So, and on that we started posting the work that we, that we had from last year. So, um, if you go to play, okay, there's my, so you can see here, this is the Las Virgins Social Studies wiki. And what we have on it is, and we're just, we've just started. This is only, what, a week old or so. And what we created at the Staff Development Day is a closed community wiki that is open to, at this point, all 
middle school teachers that teach social science in the district. And this is what we did in working together um, in less than three hours of time. We brought information to the day. So what, for example, here's our unit template that any teacher can use. Um, we are able to post copyrighted information because it's within the safe confines of username and password. It's just like sharing it between classrooms or on site. And you can see, um, I just want to scroll up, that we have a different page for sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. And we're on the seventh grade page, so if you scroll down to, right, to Rome, which is a unit we've already done at Lindero, we put up everything that we've done at Lindero, so that way if you're at AC Stellar, AE Wright, you can go in and say, listen, I need something for Rome, or I want to go back, here's what it is, and then they have the opportunity to also post. The great thing about Wikispaces is there's a discussion board. So our goal is to, uh, no, I don't want to post. I want to look at the geography quiz. We can reflect upon what we're doing, and we can talk about what's working in our classrooms and what's not working in our classrooms, and then to delete the assignments that aren't working. And through this, we get the best of the best. So all of our kids get the best, most enriching curriculum, and we can also collaborate across the district to make those benchmark tests that we can use for universal screening for RTI. That's great. So, oh, one more, we're not done, because the next step is they gave us, yeah. they gave us one another day, so we're meeting and we're bringing all of us our, we each get 10 minutes for what are our best practices. So some of us will be online and some of us won't be, and we're going to be sharing those. And we're going to be posting them, obviously, up on here, and, and what we're, our, our future goal is, as, as we use each other's lessons and we see what works and doesn't work, there's that discussion piece to be putting that in there and improving it. Um, I have a sample of, of a, this. We're also using in our classrooms. We have student collaboration going on. I just wanted to show you. This is, um, just go to, yeah, and then go to my week. You have to pull up, yeah, my wikis. So here's you can see, I'm uh, adverse to having my name anywhere on the internet at any time. So I'm Ms. C. Do you want to see portfolio? Uh, yeah, it's either one. The kids are going to have an online portfolio by the end of the year with all their work. So you can see, that, so they're posting the ones with links. If you were to click on it, you would be able to we could go take a look at one of them. I have no guarantee. We were just working on this today. So um, we'll see what's up there. So here we go. This is for a, from a story we were reading in Language Arts and Social Studies. So she's doing one of this uh, qualifications for Dragon Slayer. So she's going to have her own portfolio. We're going to have it by student and by class assignment that they that they can take this with them um, and always have access to it. That's so, great. And we're all moving toward that. Wow. Yes, Mr. D. Um, how has what you're doing now and what you guys started over summer, how has it affected you we are having so much fun. Oh, what are we, how has it affected no, me as a teacher? We are having a ton of fun and we are getting to know each other better at Lindero, but we're also getting to know the other middle school teachers and, we, we're, and we're having fun with it. And there's so much excitement. When we met in the October meeting, one of the teachers said to us, could I just watch one of your meetings because I don't even know what it would look like. And then instead of that, she just participated in it and she, now we've been emailing back and forth. We looked at the blueprint for the sixth grade, for the eighth grade social studies star, and we pulled out the key pieces in sixth grade that are asked, so when we meet in December, we're going to be developing the unit around those ones that are the most frequently asked questions in sixth grade. We're building the projects for that. So, and she's all excited, and I'm excited, and what do you want to say? Yeah. I just want to say what works is that we're building momentum. I mean, we're starting at the grassroots, I guess you would say, in the trenches. And, um, in the foxholes. <laughs> no, not outside of the foxholes, right? We're not individualized anymore. No, we started there. Yeah, and we're, um, we're creating this kind of groundswell movement where now, because of scheduling issues, we weren't able to have all three middle schools represented, but at our next, um, at our next reunion, we will have all three middle schools represented, and we're getting to that kind of district-wide collaboration that we're really looking for, and that, to answer your question, is only creating motivation and a real desire to come to work. And like was said so eloquently earlier, students can tell when teachers are excited about what they're teaching. When they know, when we know that what we're teaching is going to be meaningful, it's going to be relevant, rigorous, and it's going to help us develop it, develop those relationships. 
everyone is more excited to learn and everyone is going to perform a lot better. As one of the high school history department chairs, A, can I please have uh, an invite? I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were really nice to us, but lack of articulation, so you can yes. just have an invite. Love. Kudos, that is awesome. That is yeah. Awesome. Because only the middle schools were represented at the last meeting, um, you're we only did 6th, 7th, and 8th grade pages, but we can add 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade pages and make that, like I said in the title, LVUSD Social Science. It's not middle school exclusive. It's just yeah. only there now. So yes, you will get invited. Thank you very much for That's your time, amazing. and thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. That's great. Teachers excited about learning. All right. Uh, Dr. Dan Sepanowski is next. He's going to talk to us about best damn district in the USA. Yeah. And we are running short on time, so if you can, keep it short. Thank you, Dan. Dan said nothing. <laughs> no, 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 come on back. Come on back. Come on back. He was trying to figure out a way to get out of this. Yeah. Hey, thanks. I love that when you set up. Here, come present. Oh, by the way, we're running way behind on time. Yeah. Just a little bit of pressure. Okay, well, briefly, um, I teach in the uh, doctoral program at Cal Lutheran, and I utilize in one of my leadership classes a book uh, by Captain uh, Michael Abershoff, and it's a book called It's Your Ship. I think we're going to get a, a picture up here in a second of it. Um, I was in the Navy for four and a half years, uh, from 1990 to 95. Uh, seems like a different lifetime ago. Educators often get beat over the head with metaphors about how business is doing it right and or uh, the military is doing it right. Well, having been in the military world for four and a half years, which is somewhere between um, four and a half years and way too long. Uh, the the education world of education has got it right. Um, the military is a different world and uh, flawed in many ways. However, there are metaphors within that world that can be useful for us, as with the business world. If you look at the world economy, it's sort of collapsed a little bit, so that knocks the business world model a, a few notches down as well. Um, you can see the picture of the ship up here in the middle of a snowstorm. It's looking good. So. This is the perfect storm. I still always look for the low tech solution. It's right here. It's available on Amazon. It's a very teeny ship. Only a few people fit on it. So it's a boat, really. Oh, outstanding. All right. Pulling my favorite quote out of the book while we read the Amazon <laughs> review of it. Um, Michael says a couple of things. By the way, Michael was in the Navy the same time I was. His ship was a sister ship of mine. I was on two ships, the USS Waddell. Yes, Dr. Zimmerman likes to give me a hard time. What kind of scary name is the Waddle? Here comes the Waddle. Ooh, <laughs> scary. And then the USS Chancellorville. First is leadership, as I have said, is mostly the art of doing simple things very well. However, we sometimes make it far tougher than it needs to be. For us, you know, in this room, it's a very powerful room. We've got the association, we've got classified, we've got certificated members here who are in our classrooms doing amazing things as we just saw from Liberty and Elise. Uh, Mary's describing an amazing program, RTI, which many teachers have been doing for a long time. Uh, but it's powerful stuff because it's data-driven. Uh, it's team-oriented, exciting stuff. So we've got our, our folks uh, in the trenches, in the foxholes, uh, doing amazing stuff for our kids. The data's there for the results. We've got our associate, we've got our leadership here as well. We've got Dr. Zimmering, our board members here as well. So we've got the leadership from uh, the entire school district. And we've got our community here in the form of the foundation. 